In new Twinmotion 2020 you are able to use your previous scan from previous Twinmotion 2019. So it's possible to load your previous scan and use it right now. Sometimes you will get the some problems as you can see right now in my Twinmotion 2020 I have the problem with this part of the my area. Actually on this part we have decals as you can see on the my previous Twinmotion version. So some problem we will get. The nice thing in new version, we will save all our set exporting images. If you will go to in previous version 2020, as you can see this previous version, uh, to the image you will see I get here the sum set of the my rendering. If you will go to the new one and you will go to the set image, you will see the same image here. So you can use the previous scene without losing ever anything like uh, for example sets of your video or your images also one more good news as you can see in version 2020 all our animation it's still on so you no need redo anything so you can use really your previous scene and just improve it in new version so as the end i can say the new version of the twin motion really uh, can import all of your previous scene without uh, any problem maybe sometimes you will get the problems like for example with the calls but it's nothing then we get all our scene The new version is not only the new features, it's also the new models. As you can see in the previous version 2019, we have here the bushes, right? Uh, if you will go to the close about these bushes, it looks not so nice as you can see. But if I will go to the new version, the same bushes are already looking really nice. As you can see, we can see all the leaf and we can see all the shadows and light how it's going on the leaf. So this is same scene, I didn't change anything, I just loaded up to the uh, from the one twin motion to the other one. As you can see, now we get really improving, for, for example, with uh, our bushes. Let's see, our, for example, this tree. Let's see this tree, as you can see when we get coming close to the, this tree, we really can see the our uh, leaf, it's much, much better. Let's check the previous version. As you can see here, it's not here is not really and if even we will go to close you will see the pixelate one here you not will see the pixelate because this is now high resolution if you not just believe to my test uh, let's have a look to the previous version this is version 2019 as you can see here is the grass so let's see the preferences what I, the, I have right now with this 2019. Let's go to the preferences and the quality as you can see the ultra one and everything on the ultra. So we have the maximum what we can what we can get it. So here is the, our uh, grass. Let's go to the new version. I will go first to the edit pre preferences and as you can see I'm using the height one. I'm not using the ultra one but it's already so, uh, as you can see the grass already much much better it's looking like real glass let's go go back to as you can see this grass it's just not so not so much not so perfect like the previous one let's go back to the 2020 and let's change our preferences to the maximum quality and we will see the difference much much better as you can see this is only the working space but we already have much better resolution we have already here the lighting and the new some shadows when you will render it your result will be much better let's have a look on how the our texture looks like here is 2019 as you can see just look on this wall and for example connection with a wall and the floor uh, it looks really not bad actually and let's have a look how it looks like in 2020 in just one second and it's here as you can see here we have now ambient inclusion and our texture we have like uh, the bump the much better bump as you can see so let's go back and new back and new 
as you can see here we get result not so perfect but on the 50% it's much better and we get the ambient inclusion what I really like because with this ambient inclusion we can see the real boundary between uh, two different materials between our tile and between our brick. So before we will continue, let's see what we have, for example, in our viewport. Uh, here is 2019. As you can see, here is the my uh, some special settings. Here is the daytime. Here is sp speed, and here we have like uh, uh, some features uh, like uh, screenshots, uh, like uh, B motion or w just walking, and we are. Uh, we have uh, views like uh, isometric views, plan view, like section and elevation, and of course we have the clipping. Uh, but in 2020 we have a bit different situation. If you go the same to the some special uh, settings, you will see daytime we have, uh, speed we have, and here we will get the screenshots, be motion with the physics and beam motion without physics. So this is now we have two um, special uh, like uh, features uh, to going around your scene. Also we have the some uh, symbol with the VR. So this is same one, but now it's independent one and clipping and views. So nothing else. One of the most interesting question here is the as you can see 2019 and the statistic how it's working in my viewport as you can see the FPS really nice it's around uh, 30 to the 40 so this is really comfortable FPS to work in uh, my viewport uh, let's see the my preferences as I said the quality of the my preferences is maximum one so we don't have any settings uh, much bigger than I have right now and still in this model I have now 40 uh, FPS, this is really comfortable to work. Let's see mm, what we have in the new one. So we're back with our uh, Twin Motion 2020 and as you can see my FPS it's around 20, not maximum than 20. It's sometimes going to the 30 but my CPU working now on 100%. So I can say mm, the new Twin Motion need much much more resources than we have on the, for the previous one version. So let's go to the edit and we will see our preferences. As you can see I'm using the now maximum quality but it's not all these settings. We have like few more which will help to us so let's scroll it down you will find here dynamic resolution so let's on it and let's say okay and now as you can see my FPS going much much better it's going till the 30 40 sometimes it's going back to the 20 but anyway now you have like uh, five mm, five maybe 15 percent more than uh, powerful than, than we have before so uh, by this, uh, just by these uh, settings, it will help you working in the uh, maximum resolution. Anyway, if you will comfort not comfortable working with the maximum, we always can change to the height one, and the height one will give us uh, exactly 40 or 30 FPS average. So I'm back to the 2019 and let's see what we have on the, our library. So under the library we have the pretty uh, already familiar uh, tools like uh, materials, vegetation, uh, furniture and other, other things. So you already know these things. Uh, let's see what we have uh, in the 2020. Here is 2020 and if you go to the library we have pretty same things but we just have different names. For example now our furniture it's objects. If I will go back you will see it's objects now. So also uh, it changed the uh, volumes. On the 2019 we have here the volumes. In 2020 we have here the tools. So as you understand, tools and volumes, it's a bit different things and we will see what we have inside. So let's go back to the 2019 and say, let's see what we have the inside 2019. Section, uh, sections, water, sound and reflect. Uh, let's go 2020. Let's see what we have inside the tools. Here we have the again section, again reflecting props, but we have here the not sound, we have here notes and measure. As you can see, here is difference, sound, water, and here we have notes and measure. 
If we will go to the nodes, we now can leave some nodes, for example, somewhere. This is 3D nodes, can help to you, for example, uh, to write something for your client if you want. I will rotate it right now. And let's say, uh, and look, you can write here er, er, anything what you want. Let's say hello. Hello and uh, I don't know. Let's leave some like sounds for this video. So and as you can see, we can leave some comments here. This is new feature what we have in our Twin Motion. And as you can see, uh, here we have the some scene. Here is 2020, here is 2019. And now what I will do? I will change the time. Let's change the time here and let's make it like midnight. So here is the midnight. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's around the midnight. But let's make it uh, really midnight. Let's say this is, will be 58. Okay. And let's give a time for the viewport to see what we different will have here. Actually, it's already finished, as you can see here, it's rotating our uh, sky, and that's it. So, this is maximum quality what we have. If you not believe me, let's go to the preferences and you will see this is the maximum one. Okay, so let's go back now to the 2020 and we will do the same thing. Here is the same position of the camera and same scene and let's change the daytime. Let's say, as we did previous one, 23. 58 and let's wait because it's uh, the viewport it's a bit rendering it as you can see now we already see difference we have the volume volume lights as you can see we not even starting render but we already have the volume with our light so this is what i want to show you in new version now we have the volume uh, volumetric light The most painful thing what we get in the previous version in 2019, we cannot deplace our grass uh, like, uh, for example, for whole our area. We should do it manually. Yes, we did it manually. So what we, what the situation we have right now? We, it's it changed. We will go here. We will find here vegetation scatter. As you can see, it's hard scatter. You already understand what it mean. Let's go to the scatter, and here is the our grass. Let's use this one. Okay, and now you can just paint this scatter. As you can see, scatter add, and let's to add for this color. And as you can see, where you have will have this material, in this uh, material you automatically will get dry grass, and you can add, 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 and as much as you want. And as you can see, it's everywhere. You no need now do it manually. Finally, you will do it automatically. As you can see and after after that yeah, of course you can erase it if you want by the tool which already you know with diameter ball as you can see here you can delete some place and make it more clear and more accurate now we will talk about the people let's go to the characters in new version and we will find here is the animated people as you can see now people looks much much better than we get before let's for you use for example amir and we will place it somewhere here let's have a look on that one as you can see it's really looks not bad we can change the his pose for example to the dancing and you can see now we can use only one for example character but can use different pose for him this is really nice thing even we can sit it we can i don't know speaking speech and again laying for example here why not as you can see this is really nice things uh, animation we can put it on the grass uh, i think he enjoying it so this is really nice features uh, with the characters Let's leave it uh, Amir uh, laying on our grass, uh, he enjoying his time, let's go back here to the, our road and I will find some free space, for example, on this side. Let's have a look how it's changed, for example, the water on the our road. We will change now weather and let's say this is not will be sunny at all 
and let's see how it looks like now it looks really nice as you can see now you should give it time because now it's uh, rendering actually in your viewport and as you can see we get new type of our of our the raining uh, raining day you can add some more effects if you want uh, even if you can uh, if you want you can change the season but anyway now we get a really nice result with is not so much problem like we get in the 2019 because now we even have this uh, changing on the car so the car now also have the snow on the car or if you will see here we have the water on the car And now first challenge. Let's go back to the our expert. Here I already have some image as you can see. Let's use this image and let's make a maximum reflection and maximum light. Let's go back to the expert and let's export this view uh, from the 2019. Let's have a look how much time we will get. So finish. So here is my image as you can see we get the image from the 2019 let's do the same thing with the 2020 as you can see here is exactly the same scene uh, exactly the same image and let's see the settings as you can see reflectment now we have uh, with the different uh, positions now we have the low medium and high i will use high of course and here that we have the maximum light and also let's use the motion blur why not uh, let's go back to the our expert and let's export it how much that time it will takes Just I will choose the same folder start The bad news it's crashed anyway, I did some renders here is 2019 and here is 2020 as you can see some models is different because they changed the library and Here you can see the compare between 2019 and 20 for now the video is finished, thank you guys for watching, see you next time, if you want the more completed uh, review about 2019 and 2020, leave below this video comments and don't forget about the likes and share and I will do it as soon as possible. Thank you and see you next time.